guys, I hope you're really well and you're having a lovely Valentine's Day. Um, I'm going to show you how to make some really, really tasty, delicious, heart-shaped, kind of valentines -y, amazing, gooey, look amazing in your knickers bars. Um, so get started. Um, so we've got all the ingredients. We've got some maca powder to make it taste like caramel. Um, we've got some vanilla powder to make it taste really good. Coconut oil, macadamia nuts and dates and a little bit of raw chocolate. So you're going to grab your blender and we're just literally going to whack in some dates. So I've got a little bowl full of dates. So have a look. And I'm just going to pop those in. Um, about that much is probably enough. We'll do all of them. It's Valentine's Day. And then we've just got some macadamia. So we're just going to pop in about 12 macadamias. And that's just going to give it a really delicious taste. Uh, and then we have coconut oil. Um, so I love this stuff. This one's really nice. It's a really nice cold pressed um, extra virgin coconut oil. Um, and this you can use as a body moisturiser. I use it to remove my makeup um, and as a cleanser. Um, you can use it all over your body as a moisturiser. Um, I pop it in the ends of my hair to um, condition them instead of conditioner. Um, you can use it for tons of things. Um, Matt uses it in his cooking uh, to do like stir fries and stuff. Um, so it's really good and it's the only oil, it's said to be the only oil that you can kind of heat to higher temperatures without it turning straight into a trans fat. So much, much better. Um, so we're going to pop a tablespoon uh, of coconut oil in here. So quite a big tablespoon. So we'll just pop that in. We'll put a little bit more. We put quite a lot of dates in. And that's it. So um, add in a bit of vanilla powder. And in fact, we'll whack it all in. So we want a nice, easy life. Um, so we'll pop in a teaspoon or about half a teaspoon of vanilla powder here. Um, so this stuff is amazing. I don't know if you can see that. Um, really, really tasty. It lasts forever. It's 15 pounds for a thing and it lasts ages. And I have some maca powder. I normally use Lucuma powder, but I've run out. But this is just as good. It's got that caramelly taste um, that the Lucuma powder gives you. Um, it's really, really tasty. Um, really nice in some um, kind of desserts as well. Um, so I put it in. Um, obviously, this is a dessert. Okay. Big tablespoon of maca powder. I'll whack it in. Um, I put it in my chocolate smoothies and it's really nice in there. So we have all of the ingredients in our blender. So we have everything in there. We'll pop the lid up. And then we'll just give it a blitz. And the coconut oil will make it go really yummy and gooey. So we'll just give this a pulse. And then finally, after all of that blending, it should look something like this. Um, so if you have a smaller blender, it'll actually go finer and it'll go into a really lovely, kind of smooth, caramelly texture. But the way this is is fine, we can smush it down and make it all caramelly and delicious. Um, so I'm just going to use a piece of um, greaseproof paper and we're just going to scoop some of the caramel goodness. On, and then we're going to basically cut it into heart shapes. So we can pop that in. Come on. We'll just do a little bit at a time. And then you're just going to apply a bit of pressure onto it and just smush it down. And we want it kind of relatively flat, but it doesn't have to be exact or precise. So we just want it to be quite compact. And then when um, the coconut oil sets, um, it will be just amazing um, and it will be solid on the fridge. So we have a little heart cutter, I'm just going to pop that in and get our heart shape-ish. And they're homemade so they don't have to look perfect, that's why. So we have our first heart and we're just going to pop this onto the other piece of greaseproof paper. Yay, we have a heart. Fantastic. And then we're just going to simply 
smush the rest of the stuff and make another kind of area. So I hope you guys can see this okay. So Sasha's not here to film for me today. She's let me down and to me that she doesn't get to eat them. So I'm sorry, Sash, when you watch this later on. So we'll just smush it all down and then we'll take the heart cutter again. So we had a bit of a change of blender. Uh, my Ninja wasn't sort of uh, making it smooth enough. So we moved to my little one, which is amazing that I've had for years. And I don't know if you can see now that that looks just like toffee. And that's how we want it to look. So it should be really good. Um, so we're just gonna smush that out, uh, do some more heart shapes, and then we'll be ready to decorate them. So you can already see the, the consistency is quite different. The other one was quite uh, kind of broken. So I'm just gonna pop this out and smush it down and uh, hopefully you guys can see that it just looks very, very smooth. And this is much better consistency, especially if you do enjoy a Snickers bar. It will give you that kind of nice, smooth, creamy texture. So we're just going to make a heart shape. Way, it's loads better. Excellent. So we'll pop the heart shape out. Yay. So in a minute you'll be able to see how these look. Bit more in, smush it down. And um, if you kind of blend this a bit more so it's smoother, it's loads easier to uh, to do. We have a little heart-shaped biscuity goodnesses. Um, and I've just put some chopped macadamia nuts on them. Uh, these are kind of flat, so I can't lift them up. But I had some leftover, so I've made a nice tray of the goodness uh, to eat as well. Um, so I've just taken three squares of rare cho uh, raw chocolate. And this is from the Raw Chocolate Company. It's really nice, really tasty. It's sweetened with um, coconut nectar. Um, and we just melted that over a bain marie So we're just going to take the chocolate and we're just simply going to drizzle the chocolate over our little hearts. And uh, these should look really cute and really nice and Valentine's y. Um, and you find that the macadamia nuts look like white chocolate chips. So <laughs> they look really, really nice. Um, which makes it kind of look a little bit kind of tastier and naughtier. Um, and we do eat with our eyes, so the kind of the more appealing we can get these, the better. And if the kids want to eat them as well, then that's always fantastic. And my little cousins absolutely love trying whatever random weird food I'm eating at the time. And I even got my little cousin Louise actually eating a <laughs> massive salad with me one day. Um, and it turns out they quite like dates. So if you get the kids involved, then they're much more likely to, um, you know, kind of enjoy eating healthier foods. And I think if you get, I, I know this is Valentine's Day, but if you get kids eating healthier, that's kind of half the battle done as well. Um, and also, they'd have great fun making these, and they're completely raw, so they'd be really safe uh, if you wanted to blend stuff up and uh, give them to them uh, so they can decorate them. So, we, we will get Worcester healthy. Hopefully the rest of the world are nice, healthy, delicious treats. So we're nearly there. We've got all these hearts looking, in my opinion, quite tasty. Uh, so hopefully you guys will be fancy making these at home. So the last little one. So hopefully Matthew will enjoy these later on. And then I'm feeling really nice. I like, might take some round to my mum. So it depends if she watches the video or not. And then the last little bit, we'll just drizzle that round. Back and forwards all over this one. Okay, so here we have the finished products. I've got to say, I'm pretty...
pretty, pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I think they look really nice. So these are our Valentine's treats. Just get it back in focus. So happy Valentine's Day, guys. I hope you give these a go. Enjoy them. Um, thoroughly enjoy them. Guilt free, full of goodness. And have a lovely Valentine's Day. Thanks, guys. Bye.